Here we go, what's up guys, it's uh, Pwn Star for Hire here, and I know you're probably wondering like what the hell's going on, why did it start right here? Um, this, this video was uh, Ground War Domination, but it lasted damn near 12 minutes for some reason, and uh, you don't see that too often. But, uh, so I had to cut the first minute out, so therefore you could see the end, and yeah, that was a little weird, but uh, basically, um, this is, this is Gun of the Week, uh, part three of the AK. So, we've got the red dot sight on this thing, and... And this is, with the exception of the FMJ, my least favorite attachment for this gun. There's a lot of bounce on this gun. I mean, if you look, you know, on this map it was not too bad, like across the buildings and everything like that. I mean, it's not the worst sight in the world. It just, I don't like, it, it, the recoil seems, like, absolutely horrible with the red dot on. And, uh, you know, if you shoot the first quick burst, it's okay, but lord knows if you've got a fire you know usually it, it takes a while to recover even for another burst across the map and that's what i do not like with the red dot sight for some reason it didn't seem like that at all with the holographic uh and that's always weird because i've never actually you know I, I never used the holographic before this week ever ever because i always thought you know they're both the same damn sight and they got a little red dot on them and they attach them on the end but there really is a drastic difference in between the two and uh you know, it is a pretty good gun, and, uh, of course, it's it's just a beast at close range, regardless of the sight that's on it. And, uh, and like I said, if you were going to put the RDS on this, on any sort of, uh, mid-distance map, or any, you know, any sort of distance, even this medium range, you know, to their spawn where I was just shooting from the window, you, you've, you've got to be able to shoot that in burst. You can't, you know, you can't hold it down like you could with, you know, the holographic or the silencer or something like that. You've got to burst fire a lot of this stuff where you got to make that first three to five bullets count and uh that's the only downfall with the red dot sight i believe i go 72 and 10 in this game so it's a pretty good game the only downfall of course is is it's got a lot of it's hard to explain and i'm sorry my voice just peaked right there i hit puberty all of a sudden don't any of you guys judge me because a lot of you guys have been like oh my god that can't be you that can't be you. That's a 13-year-old with the voice of a 21-year-old. You can kiss my ass, okay? That is me. People keep asking, and that is me. I, I just look really, really young. If you met me in person, I really do not look that young. And uh, I can lie out my ass right there because you don't know. <laughs> but, um, no, I really don't look that young. And it's it's not the best in the world. But uh, thank God I'm taken. I'm not out on the market because, you know... I don't, I, that's one thing I always worried about, you know, I'm 21 years old, how many 21 year olds are gonna, you know, have an interest in somebody that looks 16, you know, they'd probably be like, what the hell is this middle schooler coming up hitting on me for, I'd be like, baby, I'm 21, bullshit, you get carded for milk, asshole, no, so just to squash everything, quit asking me how old I am, I'm 21 years old, that is me in the video logs, you just catch me when I'm tired or out of the shower, and I'm gonna, I don't know, think of a good excuse for me and insert it here, okay? But, uh, yeah, so this, this is a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool gun. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot more flaws with the red dot sight than, uh, I give it credit for. But the, the reason I think I did so well on this is, is Favela is my map. I love the hell out of Favela. And, uh, there, there's not a game I go bad on this map. And this is, like, the one map that I stick out on. So you could have given me any gun with any sight, and I can do well on it on this map. But, uh, you know, I, I must say, it's not like the worst attachment ever. I mean, you know, there are things that I do to get attachments for the guns. Like, I'll never use the ACOG or anything like that. I go to third person and play, put the sight on, because it doesn't affect it. And I like playing third person. I'll be releasing a video probably on Machinima with third person soon. Might not get many views. I'll need you guys to support me with it. But if you listen to what I explain about third person here coming up soon, you guys will really enjoy it. Um, this, this is a really, really kind of, you know, I, I, I don't know, I just, I guess I need somebody on here that actually prefers the RDS over the holographic, and I want, I want to know why, because, you know, even though it is a good sight, I love the red dot sight, it seems a little easier to use, especially in distance. I don't know what it is in between the sights, but the, the little, you know, to lock on to somebody at a distance seems a lot easier with just a simple red dot sight. But the only problem is, is it bounces more. So I feel like this is... You know, if you got a good, you know, five-shot burst, three-shot burst with an automatic like this, then of course this gun could this gun could rape butt uh, with the RDS on a map like Derail on a big map. If you're good with the burst, the RDS is far better than the holographic, in my opinion. 
And uh, a lot of these videos you guys are going to see, and you're going to see me hitting the controversy and the differences I feel in between the guns with the holographic and the RDS, because that's usually the biggest argument in between the two, and a lot of people never see any differences. And to be completely honest, I'm not going to lie here, is I never thought there was a difference either. And uh, <clears throat> there really is, and I, I started to find it out the hard way. I, I, did this, I started doing this show, and, and some of these new things you do that you've never done before teach you a lot of things. I did this show, I can't stand the RDS on the AK. But I love the holographic. For uh, for the example, P90 is one of my favorite guns in the game. It is godly with the red dot sight, but I can't stand it with you know any other sight. I actually prefer the you know RDS over a silencer or something or a Kimbo on on the P90s. So it gets a little crazy sometimes, and uh, I don't I don't know it. And there really is somewhat of a difference. But uh, when it comes down to it, you know, anyone trying to do this this gun using the RDS, it is a pretty good gun if you learn to use it properly. For example, if you were playing on salvage or something, you were sitting down that, uh, you know, C hallway, that long hallway, you were laying prone and shooting down, if you shot and burst, you'd take them out, you know, put it to the face every time if you were using this gun. It'd be, you'd have to use, you know, a lot more rounds if you were doing it with the you know holographic or the silencer or anything like that of course this gun's got a bounce but you know it it's kind of weird to explain it doesn't seem like the holographic moves when you shoot even the gun does i know it seems kind of weird yet the rds seems like it moves with the gun while it you know hobbles around and uh i, I don't know what it is but if you find the right way to use this gun with the rds i can easily see how this could be the best sight and uh i don't know you guys just have to tell me why and everything like this and a lot of guns come down to it I mean I'd still use the holographic over the RDS because I'm more comfortable with it and that's what it comes down to this and I'm trying to explain these things to you not because you know I'm not trying to say this scope is better I'm giving you a list on which order I think they belong in and you know of course they can interchange um, I'd never ever use the RDS in any public or anything ever ever on this gun I'd never use FMJ on this gun again I'd use the holographic and I would use the silencer depending on the map and this is what I'm trying to offer you with these videos is obviously a little bit of show showing you guys how I would play with this gun and obviously my play styles will somewhat semi change like you seen at the start of the game I was posted up whereas had I have had like a silencer I would have been rushing around more because silencer you know <clears throat> it does have a little bit of bounce and it's it really helps this gun at close range and uh, it keeps you off the map and I was playing you know ground war domination so you know Shooting an unsilenced gun in Ground War is not my favorite, to be completely honest, because, you know, but then again, you know, all the acne shows up on the radar with everybody shooting at once. It's personal preference, I guess, and uh, like I said, I'm not trying to bash on this site, it's just not for me, and this is what I encourage you guys to do, is to find your groove, whether it's with editing, commentating, anything, you've got to find what works for you, and uh, see right there, that was a good shot with uh, across the roof with the lovely the lovely AK and and that's one of the instances where a good shot with the RDS comes in handy you could have done that with the holographic not so much with the other two but either way the red dot side is not a bad sight that's what I'm trying to defend it even though I'd never use it which is kind of a weird thing for me to do I'm not trying to go against what I say I just could never feel comfortable using this on a regular basis I mean I, I could throw it on you know on the occasional map or something but you know, I'd probably cry and be like, if I had my holographic, no. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. So I want you guys to try some of these out. If you've never tried some of these scopes out, go ahead and do it. Um, and, uh, let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. And, uh, stop on all of these videos showing the guns that you want to see for next week. The next week's guns are chosen. Do not vote again until next week. And when you vote, vote on only the first first gameplay which will be the silencer every week will be the first gameplay so every week the first gameplay that comes up will be on monday or tuesday and it will be with the silencer if that's where you cast your vote for the gun for the next week so you know if you guys want to be generous you know put up a gun that um i want to encourage you guys for that third week to put up a gun that i could actually use a good fourth um a fourth video for seeing as how next week's will only be three videos because i can't find a fourth you know, attachment worth anything. Now, I'll put up like the MP5, and I could put like rapid fire on there. I put up the P90, and I could do a Kimbo or something, or something like that. Or obviously, in the MP5, you'd probably have to 
you know, picking between rapid fire and stuff like that. There's all these guns that have these different things, but certain guns have better ones to use that, you know, not everybody uses. So I encourage you guys to make the third week to pick a gun, something similar to that, where I can incorporate a Kimbo or something in there pretty well. But uh, anyways, this is, uh, this is about wrapping up. There's about, you know, 30 seconds left. So I want you guys to keep looking into these. And I'm sorry I'm not talking too much into the gameplay. Um, I'm sure there will probably be a lot more in-depth thinking and talking about the gameplay in the weeks to come. I'm just trying to uh, reiterate and get it into your mind that the Red Dot Sight sucks. Um, no, that, that you guys got to uh, you guys got to vote on these things. And uh, I'll read probably within the first few hours of my videos going up on that Monday or Tuesday with the silencer. And I'll tally them up. And the one that wins, obviously, is going to be the one I use. Please don't double vote. Please don't vote guns that have already been used. Pay attention to it. But anyways, guys, it's Pwn Stuff for Hire. Peace out. Get it?